got the gear on the boat in the dark and at first light we headed off onto the mere. In the distance we could see fish topping everywhere. Who knew we were going to have our best pike fishing session we've ever had. Enjoy. Let's go. Jesus, that's going for it, isn't it? I'm trying to look through the camera so you can get some footage. <laughs> I think I did. Oh yeah, it's fatty that. <laughs> we was just about to show you his fish and he's got another one. He might have... Oh, it's just come off. Does it... Was it a big one? It would have been mad that trying to have two on the net on the boat. Whoa, and that one's going mad. So, oh, that's a beast, that's Stu. That's first double from this venue. Your first double, yeah. That's it's bordering on the same size as the one I had, isn't it? Yeah. Because we've we've weighed yours, and what was it? Uh, Thirteen pound with the sling. That's right, we know. Alvin, we guessed mine was eleven or twelve, didn't we last time? Yeah. I'm to the camera, I think I might have another. <laughs> you just lost one as well. This one in the net, and I've just hooked one up there about six pounds. But I was happy for it to come off at the edge of the boat because I didn't want to net it with a net. What had this fishing so and loose because we've only got one net, haven't we? We've only got one net because it's just too too much so, hassle yeah. on a boat. This is my my best out of this venue. We'll tell you the little story in a minute. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, nice one, Stu. Well, in mate. Get the freaking thing here. Oh, he's coming on. You in? Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, so this one looks like it's fighting well. No, it's all right. See, see how big it is for it. Is it? I'll get it in. Come on, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, this is fighting man, Stu. Not done yet. Look at that for a doozer, <laughs> Stews. Oof, oh, just gave you there. Stews, doozer. <laughs> Stews, second double of the session. It's not even nine o'clock. Don't tell them what happened. What? All this fish. What happened? I lost the. Doozer. Oh yeah, but I was thinking I was videoing it. Oh, you was videoing it. Yeah. Just Got to rub insult, just to rub the salt <laughs> in the wounds. So yeah, my hands are full of pike rash. I've had how many runs have you had? I've had nothing fishing 20 foot away. Can't believe it. But, but he is fishing on chicken legs. Yeah, that's true. Chicken drumsticks. But what it half a pound heavier than his last one, so his new PB this water, probably the biggest one we've had now that isn't it? Yeah. What was it? 12 and a half? Yeah. Oh, it's a doozer, it's lovely fish as well, isn't it? Mm. Absolute cracker. So we're not we'll tell you about why we're fishing here in a bit, but what a Day, don't we? Yeah, absolute belter that Stu. Third double, only the third double we've had out of here, and you've had two in the space of a half an hour. Can you get a still picture? Yeah, I'll get you a still in a minute. Look at that. Right on the fish today, I think, guys. Yep. We've done a bit of homework and we've done a bit of um... bang on the fish. <laughs> right. Well, we'll tell you in a bit what we've done anyway. Yeah, I'll get you a picture now. So we're back on the Mia today and what a start we've had. Uh, what, a start. what a start. Four runs you've had, haven't you, Stu? As you've just seen, Stu's had them two doubles. He lost one. We lost, lost two. Good fish. He lost a cracker on that anchor rope. I think I got it on video, but... It was a good fish. The rod was hooped in half. You couldn't get it up, could you? No, it was peeling drag. The rod was hooped in half and it swam across the anchor. My fault, really. I should have knew. Swam across well. the am anchor warp and um, done me. But we're literally about 100 yards away from where the boat is moored. We've um, we just lit, we, the funny thing is, Stu said to me today, we put massive lures on to do a bit of trolling and he went, should we go big or go home? Because <laughs> we always having jacks. And we said, right, so we stuck some big lures on, but we only got 100 yards from the um, mooring. But, uh, that ball of fish was massive. It's like I think every fish in the lake is here. Yeah, yeah. So we basically just scooted back and then just dropped anchor kind of in the middle of the bait. And to be honest, it's the best start we've ever had best by start. miles, isn't it? It takes us back to our days on another reservoir, doesn't it? It does. We're bank fishing, and we've never had that that buzz, have we? Until no, then. he was she was shaking on looking that second one then. I couldn't, I just couldn't <laughs> But yeah, what a start. So we might do a bit of lure fishing behind us, but we're trying to keep the um, the noise on the boat to a minimum because we're right over all bait fish. And it's not the deepest spot of the lake. Nah, it's how many metres is it here? 4.2. 4. And we're usually in 4 metres. And we're usually fish in under the, there's fish under the transducer now. Is there? Yeah. So it's 4 metres and we're usually fishing in what, 7 aren't we? Yeah. 7 yeah. metres. Well, we've not even got to that spot yet because this spot was so, so many bait fish. We just thought we can't ignore this. I thought your bung was going again. I thought your right one was going then. I think it is. Right, we're going to end it there. We'll see what happens. And we're going to have a, we're going to have a brew now. And Could be another one for the big man. <laughs> no, it's you. Oh, it's me. It's your it's rod. rod. It's your rod. <laughs> no man. Oh, man, right, not right. big one man. <laughs> Catch you in a bit.
So we did think it was the same fish as the first one he had, mm-hmm. but now we're not. Now we've got it out. It's got a few marks on that we've not big seen. Marks, yeah. So we're going to weigh it anyway. I don't think it's quite as big as that last one, looking at it. But it's a cracking fish. It's like freaking best fish. Same stamp in it, 11 yeah. 12. Three doubles, three maybe three separate doubles and we've only had one double previous i've had five runs and i've had zilch <laughs> in an hour and a half of fishing or something i know so yeah i reckon we get this weighed and just check it because yeah i don't think it's the same fish no i don't know you've got it out it's got that chomper mark there see it yeah yeah on the f- on its tail it's a lovely fish though it is clean beautiful i've still not had that brew have we Stu? <laughs> You, you're bloody disrupting me brews. It's not just a brew, is it? It's a cellar. Cellar brewery brew. <laughs> right. So, I'm it. Keep up the good work. I will. <laughs> I'll be your net man. Yeah, you be the net man. I had a hold of it then, you know. It's a mullet that. It was only a flipping tiny thing. Coming up to half ten now, and we're gonna have a little troll and try and see where the bait fish have gone. Since Stu's big and we've not had out, well, we've had a couple of takes, haven't we, Stu? I've had a take. I've had a take, and I've had something muller my little sardine. Kept pull it bung under and then letting go. So I think the jacks, there's only jacks left. So we're going to have a little troll with some big lures and then um, find the bait fishing up. From experience as well, we think when the jacks move in, that tells us that the big ones have moved out, don't yeah. we? Yeah. We reckon that happens on a few waters. Yeah, another water we fished. Every time we, we the big ones stopped coming, the jacks moved in and then we never had another big one after that, no. did we? So we're just... We think the bait fish might have moved on, so we're just going to um, use the echo sounder and have a troll up and down here. We might end up back here if the, um, the bait fish are here, but we're just going to have a little look around now. So I've just moved spots. Drew's just actually had a Jackie Chan take his bait, I think, and um, struck into with nothing. Only been here a few minutes. But as you, as you can see, the wind, I'm not sure how bad it is on the mic, but it's howling, absolutely howling down here. So much so we couldn't hold bottom on the anchor. I think the anchors have just dug in now. Where we found the bait fish. And basically, we was fishing there this morning, and now we're just fishing here. So the, they just moved out the bait fish. We had a bit of a troll around the bay down there, and we've been up and down. Oh, it's a bit blurry, but uh, been up and down there a little bit. But there you are. So we're basically about 40 yards away from where we was fishing this morning. Say this morning, it's still morning. It's only about half ten, quarter to eleven, I think. No, it's not. It must be later than that. Must be half eleven. So yeah, we'll see how much we, how long we can stick it out here for, because it's not the comfiest. Kind of went away and bing bong in it. Not even taking it. Come on.
I'm not, sh not struck into it, I don't know if it's... Little mouth, like see little teeth back, like Brilliant. yeah. Can't really see much. He's here again, making a friggy mockery of my videos in. <laughs> Pointless me being here except for filming. <laughs> Not sure how good it's going to pick it up because the wind's howling. But we'll try. So? Are you back at... Oh. Yep. So that's fish number... God knows. 96. Five is it? I think so. Fish number five. Um, we've had a spot move haven't we? But this certainly isn't the same fish. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> but every fish I have I never get my bait back so I'm going through some baits like you won't believe. Beautiful Joey mackerel as well. Um, I'm a bit gutted so I've started halving my baits. <laughs> <laughs> we own quarters soon. Doing kebab rigs soon. I don't want to be running out of bait. So oh. yeah. About what? £3. Give you a bit more maybe. £4. Yeah. £12. Nice. <laughs> you're pushing it now, Stu. Just because you're on a roll. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get a couple more. Aye. Right. Nice one, Stu. it. Keeping the video alive today. That pike has just done, he's on his big boy lure as well, big pants lure. Look at, took a big massive chunk out of it. Bloody hell. I'm going to have to buy some silicone from B&Q and stick it back together, aren't I? You could use a placky bag on your lure as a lure today and you'd catch, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, it's, it's I don't just, know. just me, innit? It's just part of being me. It is. What can I say? Good looking. <laughs> <don't> I know. <laughs> <laughs> my mum says it. <laughs> I tell you every day, don't I? Yeah, I tell you. Right. Let's have a look at this. Is. Another nice fish. He must have had six fish now or somewhere. I reckon so. I, I can't even remember. It's I all a blur. About six, yeah. Just had that on that massive. That massive trout. Is it a trout? Rainbow trout. It's just mullered <laughs> that. Absolutely. <laughs> greedy. It. They must be on the feed big time today. Slashed it to death. It needs repairing when I get home. But it is what it is. Jack a whack a ding dong. Bigger than King Kong. Bigger than King Kong. Right. Um, it felt a lot heavier than it was, didn't it? Because. I don't know. I don't know what they feel <laughs> like anymore. <laughs> it's a good job I didn't blank yesterday when I went on my own. I'd have yeah. been well peed off. So, yeah, let's Lovely. get that back. And and let's go and find the bait fish. Carry on that crusade. Not found them yet, have we? They've disappeared on us and we can't find them. They seem to have lost them. That spun round in the net. 
a hundred times it thought it was the Tasmanian devil, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, Taz, what is it called? It is the Tasmanian devil, yeah. I think so, Paul. I think it was. Yeah, I mean. You might have to let this for me on the other side of the rod. Yeah, it's right next to you. I'm Stig. Hey! You touched it, it counts. <laughs> so, would you believe it? He was just having a bit of a whinge because I've bit. had all the fish. Well, yeah, a bit. <laughs> and he's just absolutely smashed. Well, I reckon that's the biggest one off the lures today, isn't it? And it's a bit, it's a bleeder as well, it's a wrapper. Seems to want to wrap up. Off me big lure, whatever it is, that one. Big daddy. Off the big daddy lure, the big perchy face. And we were just making a quick pass over the um, the bait fish. We spotted a ball of bait fish and as soon as I said to him, yep, the bait, we've got him again. He's, his rod bent over. No blanks. What a lovely fish though. Not as good as your um, 13 this morning. Doesn't time. matter, does it? It's what? The fact of the matter is, it's it's a good fish for trolling. Super. What do you reckon weight-wise? Six. Six, yeah, I'd give it a six. Six-ish. Right, let's get it back and let's get fishing again, Stu. Because we just found the bait ball again, haven't we? Yep. He's <laughs> hit on again. See what I'm going to get to have Drop me around a sec. He's just pulled that out three minutes after I've just caught mine. Didn't give me a chance to have a gloat or anything. Look at that colours on that tail. Beautiful, Stuart. When they're in clear water pike, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. What a cracker. What a cracky session you're having. What seven a seven fish. Seven fish. Oh, watch the boys. The boys, we've drifted. Good why we do this. Right, we're just going to have another troll, aren't we? Because the bait fish are right underneath us at the moment. And oh mate, a massive fall of bait all the way the along the edge. same one this morning, they've just been here and on the other side, they're the boys haven't they? So let's get the troll on eh? Yep, come on let's go Stuart. Yeah, I've just done a bit of trolling and we had a couple of hits but uh, we just found the bait ball again. They're just basically staying in this area and swapping swapping sides of the, um, the lake. So we're just going to sit about 3 o'clock now. Ooh, I thought they had a little take off a of jack then but nothing was just bobbing me bung around so i don't know we're just in the wind so we're not in the comfiest place so we're going to sit it out for an hour at least and then um see if we can nick one trolling we always do a little bit of trolling go for a little zip round and see if we can get a last fish but until something happens see you later So proper take that Stu, proper take, went right under, thought it was a better, not a chap then. If you can. Oh, it's going good then. Oh, the they fight well, the bigger ones, don't they? Oh, 
Pass him in, Hunter! That's a PB. Don't know. Oh, mate, that's 29. $10 a fucking better take, didn't it? Well, 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 we've got something special here for you. We have got something very special. So, the man who's watched my rod there, who doesn't like... Look at that, it's a pig! <laughs> that is a crocodile. That's, a cro that's the biggest pike I've ever seen. On a circle hook. Are you happy with that? After my bad start. So to do a photo. No, no, I can't remember what caught it on sardine. Caught it on a sardine. That's the biggest pike. I've ever seen in person 23 pound 6 ounce that's a whopper that is an absolute whopper let me get a video of it said it look don't look real it looks like a pig oh my god that's an animal that Well done, mate. Stu, I'm in. Stu, I'm in. Not as big as that other one. <laughs> hey. I'm coming good at the end. <laughs> it's in skizzers. I can't believe you're here as well. Doesn't matter. Fucking numbers of fish today. Can't see it. You're chilling in there. Oh, it's a little bit smaller. No, I don't know actually. <laughs> no, I mean that one in net. Well, we just had two quick jacks in su quick succession, like literally three minutes apart, Stu. Three minutes apart. I landed mine, put it in the net, and then Stu's went. they have been mad. And my bung's just gone. <laughs> Stu, your oh, bung's under water. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait it. No, it's wrapped round it. It's, I think it's hugged properly. It's gone. I don't know. No, it's gone. It's last. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> what the? I can't. You know what? I can't. Let go. What the? What the? <laughs> right, we'll try that again, H2. <laughs> we have now three in the net. Three in the net. <laughs> I think that's about 12 ish pike. I've had four, Stu's had eight. It was a bit of an unusual hookup, wasn't it? 
Uh, yeah, it like kind of last. It'd gone so round its the body. It wasn't even in the fish. The hook was round the main line, and the main line had lassoed the fish. So it was like. I don't even know how that happened. He was playing it in like a, a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, we've been singing Nine Stone Cowboy. Like a rhinestone. <laughs> oh, that, this is a mad session, Stu, isn't it? I've never, I've never seen anything like it in my life. A Cons- 23 pound, 6 ounce monster. And like more jacks than you can shake a stick at in one net. And three, oh yeah. And, Everyone would think we were using a keep net. <laughs> right, let's get them undone. Ah, uh, right, you lift them up, go on, you just show them all because we've got three in there. And, it, and it's getting, it's half past four and we've got to be off soon. So, Look, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at that, three of them. I think mine's the biggest one. Yeah, it's <laughs> big, wasn't it? Listen, you've already claimed your 23. I know. So oh. they're the first two we had. See? Aren't they? <laughs> yeah, because that was the smallest one, then that last one. So yeah, they're the first two we had, and then we've had this, just had this other little jacket. Jackie old Sullivan, that was the rhinestone cowboy. That was <laughs> it. It doesn't look quite nine stone, but it's a cowboy. <laughs> oh, for him, yeah, that was bonkers, that one. Right, let's release them. Let's get this, let's get them back in, eh, before anything else happens. Can't believe we're saying that on here when we usually get two fish or something. They must be on a right feeding frenzy today. Well that turned out to be the final fish of the day. And the end to an amazing session. That was our best pike fishing session we've ever had for numbers and weight. Hopefully, before the season's out, we'll have another session as good as that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.